Prince William, 39, reportedly intervened to help evacuate the family of a former Afghan officer, who he met in Sandhurst, as the Taliban continues its devastating takeover of the nation. The Duke of Cambridge is said to have urged his equerry, naval officer Rob Dixon, to make some calls to the relevant personnel to help the family get through the gate and Kabul airport and board a flight to the UK. Harry also attended Sandhurst, where all officers in the British Army are trained to take on the responsibility of leading their soldiers. But it is not known whether he was able to help fellow members. The Duke of Sussex, who served two tours in Afghanistan, did issue a statement with his wife Meghan to military veterans about the nation last month. His statement said, What's happening in Afghanistan resonates across the international Invictus community. We encourage everybody across the Invictus network, and the wider military community, to reach out to each other and offer support for one another. Meanwhile, Major Andrew Fox, a former paratrooper who served three tours in Afghanistan, praised William for his efforts. Mr. Fox, who has been helping interpreters flee Afghanistan, added he had been hearing many stories about officers on the ground helping people that they knew from Sandhurst. He told The Telegraph, I myself got two para to rush out into the crowd and grab someone for me. It's fully in line with what we get taught in the army in terms of values, loyalty, respect for others, all that good stuff. We're trained to help where we can. The situation was so chaotic and was so, frankly, mismanaged, that people would do whatever they could to get out. Princess Leonor of Spain and Princess Alexia of the Netherlands are set to begin their studies this week at United World College of the Atlantic, often dubbed as, Hippie Hogwarts. United World College of the Atlantic, is a school inside a 12th-century St. Donat's Castle in Wales. Princess Alexia of the Netherlands and Princess Leonor of Asturias waved goodbye to their respective families this week and set off to join the school this week. Ex-alumni of the college, Louise Callahan, who later became foreign correspondent for the Sunday Times, wrote of the school, It is a bit like a hippie Hogwarts, full of oddballs who think they are fighting the forces of darkness. There are also ghosts, Lady Stradling haunts the History Tower, and the smell of lavender and a lilac mist precedes her apparition. The ethos is, broadly, that people from all over the world can get along if you shove them together in a castle. That much we proved, some very passionately. Related articles Prince Harry's angriness towards royal family to continue in memoir Meghan will be more determined than ever after Piers Ofcom win charity Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's support receives major prize.